Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are talking about this riddle about why the ancient Roman structures were so durable. We are talking about ancient Roman concrete and we finally now know that why were they so durable. Let's get started. Scientists have long pondered the durability of ancient Roman concrete structures which have not only stood the test of time but also have held up under extreme conditions assuming it came down to a unique mix of ingredients. Volcanic ash from the area of Pozzuoli on the Bay of Naples was believed to be a key element that led to the unique durability of ancient structures and kept them stable as modern concrete crumbled to the ground. But a report released Friday discovered that it is not necessarily the ingredients that are attributed to the strength of the Romans' concrete, but the mixing process. Scientists in an MIT Harvard University study found that Romans actually relied on a process called hot mixing to whip up their hyper-durable concrete. The benefits of hot mixing are twofold. MIT professor of civil and environmental engineering Admir Masik told MIT News. First, the overall concrete is heated to high temperatures. It allows chemistries that are not possible if you only use slate lime, producing high temperature associated compounds that would not otherwise form. Second, the increased temperature significantly reduce curing and setting time since all the reactions are accelerated, allowing for much faster construction, he added. Masik was first alerted to the concept after noticing multi-millimeter small, bright, white minerals in the ancient concrete. The outlets at the, these deposits, described as lime clouds, not only found, uh, are not found in concrete today, were once chalked to poor mixing practices. But the MIT professor took issues with this line of thought. The idea that the presence of these lime clouds was simply attributed to low quality control always bothered me. Basic tells, if the Romans put so much effort into making an outstanding construction material following all of the detailed recipes that had been optimized over the course of many centuries, why would they put so little effort into ensuring the production of a well-mixed final product? Mazik has team discovered that white spikes were actually calcium carbonate that had been formed after the mixture, which included quicklime, reached to an extremely high temperature. His team then ran a series of tests using modern and ancient techniques with and without quicklime. The team are now working to commercialize the ancient practices for modern use. Mazik described the findings as exciting and hopes to Lighter weight and longer lasting concrete mixture will help reduce the environmental impact of cement production, the publication said. Cement production reportedly accounts for roughly 8% of greenhouse gases. That's all we have in today's video. Please let me know in the comment section what you think of this finding. Thanks for watching us. Here. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.